Thank you, Chairman. I will talk about the long-term effect of tadalafil and cirrhodosine on body functions in male patients with detrus and activity. The incidence of detrus and activity was reported to be about 20% uh, among men undergoing urodynamic evaluation from neurogenic rats. However, there is no effective treatment for detrus and activity at present. Both alpha-1 block and PD-5 inhibitor were expected to be effective for patients with detrus and activity induced by BPH because they increase blood perfusion to the pelvic organs. However, there has been no report on whether they improve detrus and activity in clinical practice. So in the present study, we compare the long-term effect of tadalafil and shirodoshin on storage and voiding functions in patients with detrus and activity induced by BPH using the urodynamic studies. 130 outpatient who are diagnosed with detrus and activity induced by BPH are randomized to receive five, five, five milligram tadalafil or eight milligram shirodoshin daily for 12 months. At month 12, change from baseline in patient subjective symptom and voiding function were compared between the two groups. In the efficacy analysis, 43 patients from the shirodoshin group and uh, 48 from the tadalafil group are uh, included. Regarding the change of subjective symptom, also mean IPSS, IPSS QOL and OABSS significantly improved in both groups. The improvement in IPSS QOL in the tadalafil group was significantly greater compared with that in the cirrhodosine group. As a change of the dynamic parameters between the two groups, although the mean Qmax significantly improved in both groups, the improvement in Qmax was uh, significantly superior in the tadalafil group. The mean BCI significantly increased from 79.2 to 86.7 in the shirodosine group, and from 77.6 to 101.5 in the tadalafil group, the improvement in BCI was significantly superior in the tadalafil group compared to that in the shirodosine group. All the Although the detailed mechanism underlying the better efficacy of tadalafil than of shirodoshin in terms of the improvement in bladder contractility and voiding function remains incompletely understood, the relaxation of urethra through NO system and the increase of bladder perfusion to bladder by tadalafil are thought to contribute to the improvement on voiding functions. In conclusion, tadalafil over shirodoshin significantly improved the LATS in patients with detrus and activity induced by BPH during 12 months of treatment. Tadalafil is considered more effective than shirodoshin for the improvement of bladder contractility and aerodynamic voiding functions. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, any questions? Paul? Thank you, Abrams Bristol. Um, you say uh, DU induced by, I assume you mean prostatic obstruction. What? By BPH, do you mean prostatic obstruction? Yeah, BPH, uh, so this is inclusion criteria, BPH uh, prostate volume of 25 million or higher, so by ultrasonography. Oh, so that's BPE? BP, yeah, BP, okay. not to But there's, there's no evidence of obstruction in the sense that the obstruction index is less than 40. Yeah. Correct? All, all patients uh, have a boo index less than 40. So not what, ev BP, what yeah. evidence do you have that the DU is related to the prostate at all? Yeah. Why do you think the DU is related to the prostate? Yeah, uh, so uh, in... This study is a uh, mean prostate volume uh, less than 40. So uh, the old patient had a BP, not a boo, and uh, had the old patient had DU. So by pressure flow study. But I would suggest that there is no evidence that prostatic obstruction or prostatic enlargement causes detrusor underactivity. Yeah, yeah. There, I think they are 
two, as far as I know, they are two separate conditions. So it doesn't mean that your study is a bad study, but the hypothesis that you are using may be wrong about the prostate. The hypothesis that it may increase blood flow mm. is certainly possible. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Adrian? Uh, that was exactly my question, but also, um, what was your required sample size? Sample size is uh, uh, one arm is 50. So statistically, I, I calculated the uh, sample size. So uh, and that was based upon what? Sorry? What, what, upon what was your sample size based? Yeah. What, sample what, size is... Uh, what was the main outcome of the study? Hmm? What was the main outcome measure of the study? Out of the study? Yeah, the, the main outcome, the most important outcome. You, you used the most important outcome to collect, to, to calculate the power. Yeah, uh, power is uh, calculated uh, statistically. Okay. Um, I, I just have a question. Your contractility index is under 100. So if how many patients had, for example, 98 or 90? Because yeah. it's almost normal. And so the study will be really good if you would have a placebo group to compare if, if that works. In this study, and no placebo group. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It will be much more valid yeah. if there will be placebo. Or also showing how many patients has different contractility index, let's say between yeah. 1,800, between 60 and 80, and 40 and 60, and see if there is any difference. And can I put a last question? Uh, could you tell us something about the clinical relevance of the differences? Uh, you showed no difference on symptom scores, but still you, you suggest that it's uh, superior. What, what, what's, no what's most important for patients? Yeah, there is no difference uh, in the improvement uh, the symptom score. But uh, so Qmax is uh, superior in the Tadalafil group. But, that, but does that matter for patients? Do they recognize their Qmax? Are they aware of their Qmax or is it about symptoms? Mm -hmm. I think, but uh, uh, again, I'm a GP. I think patients should be uh, uh, advised for treatment based on symptom improvement as the most important part. There's an, another question coming up. We have some spare time, so we can use the time. Uh, Daniel Moser from Brazil. Uh, Dr. Jersey, you call attention for the need of stratification of the trusor under activity. I agree with you, but unfortunately, you don't have this classification nowadays. Uh, and I agree that we should need, because all the papers that you have on the trusor under activity use only uh, BCI under 100. So I think that we, we should describe in your papers the stratification, but it would be better, I think, if we have a uh, like, uh, recommendation from the ICS to use this stratification. Do you agree with that? Well, uh, actually, we need more study from you guys like you uh -huh. to show if there's a difference between, that's why I asked for stratification, did you see any difference? Mm -hmm. If you see difference, that means there is some some value in that. I don't know, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I agree. Because when I read the papers, I feel the same feeling. Well, we need to have this stratification. It's hard how to describe this between 17 and 8, 8 and 9, 9 and 100. So uh, just to reinforce uh, this statement. Thank you so much. Okay. Then, I think, then I think we are at the end of this session. Uh, I thank all presenters for their efforts um, and the uh, audience for the questions. A nice discussion. Uh, and I wish you a pleasant evening. Thank you very much. Thank you.